Hi, welcome to Andrea's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make pizza. Now I have two store-bought pizza doughs from Wegmans that I, it's really good. Um, you can make your own dough, but um, this dough is so good that I don't need to. So what I do is I take the dough out after it's been sitting out for maybe at least an hour, hour and a half. It's easier to spread that way. So I take it out. Usually I um, put flour on it over the sink so it's not so messy, but I'll show you what I do. So I get some flour and just spread it evenly all over the dough. helps prevent from sticking to the pan and also I spread or yeah spray olive oil on it on the pan. Okay next I get the dough and spread it all around the pan. Well the oven is um, preheated to 400 degrees. Now these pans that I'm using uh, were my mom's and so many delicious pizzas were made on these pans. There, it's, it spreads so um, easy when they've sit out when they've been out of the refrigerator for a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to make the sauce right now. So I have a can of San Marzano tomatoes. They're hand crushed tomatoes that I'm using. Get some oregano, a little bit of salt. and a little bit of pepper. Olive oil. A little bit of garlic powder. Now some people like it chunky like this, and I do, but um, today I'm going to make it a little smoother. All right, I'm gonna use my immersion blender to get some of these chunks out of tomatoes. So that's our pizza sauce, and now for my second pizza, I'm going to do fresh tomatoes.
I hope you can't hear my stomach growling. I am so hungry and I can't wait for this pizza to be done. Okay, so here's my slices. Um, for the first pizza, I'm just going to do the sauce and I'll show you how I do this. Okay, shrunk a little bit, so all I have to do is just push it back out again. Doesn't have to be perfect. I know one side is a little, the crust is a little fatter than the other, but it's fine. Wegmans sells a pretty big pizza dough. There, and I learned this trick from my cousins who are from um, Long Island. They um, do this with a fork, they cook it all over. That's so, I don't know if you've, if you've made a pizza before and the air gets under there and like a big bubble, an air bubble appears on it. If you do this, that won't happen. Thank you to Joanne and Mark for the tip. Now, time for the sauce. leave the, the crust without sauce. You can do it either way. You can fill the whole thing or just like I'm doing. Now, what I do is, I put it in the oven to let it brown just a little bit on the bottom and then I'll take it back out again. Okay, for the second pizza, I'm not putting sauce on it, but I'm going to drizzle it with olive oil. Poke it with a fork. So I'm going to take some of that oil off. That was too much. Oops, can you hear me? That was a little too much, so I'm taking some of it off. Okay. Now I'm going to put it into the oven. And then I will add the toppings. Oh, the first one looks great. Okay, I took the pizza out after, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes. And then I'm going to put um, pecorino romano cheese on it. Then, some mozzarella cheese. I don't skimp on the cheese. <laughs> so after you have the Mozzarella cheese in there, then uh, I put more of the sauce on top. A little here and there. Now, uh, you saw the big bowl that I had of the leftover sauce. Instead of um, possibly it uh, not getting used up, just put it in little containers like these 
and just throw it in the freezer and label it. But I, I bought them off of Amazon. Then there's no waste unless you're going to make more pizzas soon. Okay, so let's see. I'll put a little oregano on top. It's all set to go back into the oven now until it's the cheese is all melted on top. Here's my second one without sauce. So I did the olive oil and then I did I um, put it in the oven on 400 for 15 minutes. It was about 15 minutes for each one. And then um, I put mozzarella on the bottom and then tomatoes. And I'm going to add a little cheese on this one also. Parmesan. And then some fresh basil. I always like to keep fresh basil growing in the house. And I took the other one out of the oven. I'm going to show you that one in a little bit when I stick this one in the oven. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Put this in. And here's the other one. so starving right now. I'm going to give it a few minutes out of the oven and then I'm going to cut it. Here's both pizzas all ready to be cut up. That one. Put it on a plate. Now I'll get the other one. This is the one I really want to try. Oh my gosh. this one. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Look at that. So delicious.
for watching. Have a good day.